KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP today, a really nice cool summery one, it is my beef taco salad, again I saw this in a magazine and I went I've got to try and do this for you, okay, all my ingredients I lay it out, I've got a little bowl there, a little bit of cornstarch in there, just add a little bit of water, we're just going to make up a very very quick slurry, it's going to help thicken our little uh, taco meat up at the end, so let's mix that through, and we can set that aside. Here I've got some flour tortillas and we're just going to cut these up into little triangles just like I'm doing right here. Now these I'm going to deep fry. You can shallow fry these if you want. You can toast them if you want. I just put mine in the deep fryer. They go nice and puffy and brown and they just work great. If you can find corn tortillas definitely go those. It'll taste even better again. All right. So let's start making up everything. Here I've got a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, I've got a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper, a mixture of black and white. Here I've got some garlic powder, onion powder and some cinnamon right there. That is your taco seasoning. If you, can buy, if you want to buy a packet one, do so, but making your own is that easy to do. A little bit of oil in the pan nice and medium heat I don't want to uh, burn the place down half a kilo or 500 grams or a pound of ground beef or beef mince depending on where you are in the world we just want to break this up and get it nicely browned up very very simple process to do just keep working that meat through make sure it all goes into nice little chunks and uh, you can see it's starting to brown off and Making this and eating it was just absolutely divine. It was just a really different experience. No grease or juice dripping down your arm. It's just really nice. All right, in goes our salt and our pepper. Straight in and give that a bit of a mix through. No real rocket science there. Next thing I'm going to add is my garlic and onion powder and that little bit of cinnamon that goes straight in give that one more stir around there's a couple of different ingredients in this that I, I'll tell you about in a second uh, our paprika and cumin that goes in and it's already starting to smell like a taco mix now as you can see that is all very very dry here I've got a 400 gram can of black beans I've strained and given those a quick rinse off I don't like that little residue that it leaves behind you can add that liquid it's not going to hurt it's just going to give you gas the next day that's the reason why I strain it off we still need to make this a little bit more saucier though that's where our little slurry comes in so I just put that corn flour and water straight in give that a stir it's going to uh, give us a little bit of moisture and it's going to give you like a little bit of a gravy as well and believe it or not this is quicker than trying to cook with the bean juice All right so stir that through till that thickens up and then we can get ready to start plating now, as you can see over on the right hand side at the top i've got some cherry tomatoes i've just cut those in half a little bit more salt i've added that and i've also got a bit of iceberg lettuce that i've uh, given a nice little shred to a little bit of extra black pepper always taste make sure you uh, need to add salt or not remember you can always add salt you can never take it away look at that we've got this nice little thick taco mix happening in that little fry pan let's plate it up so we're going to add with uh, start with our beef mince that can go straight down not too much and this is a very very budget meal as well so you're looking at maybe six dollars worth of uh, ground beef the can of beans was like two dollars that amount of lettuce might have been 50 cents worth it doesn't cost that much to make a real fun meal like this and the kids would love this one it's really really simple to do so we're just going to add everything around the plate just in little quadrants or little sectors and that way you can just eat what you want at any given time so in goes our cherry tomatoes like that a nice big handful of cheese shredded cheese grated cheese use the cheese of your choice I'm actually using a Mexican blend there they can go straight in like that add your little corn tortillas around the outside of the plate like that and before you know it you 
going to have one incredible little summertime meal. How easy was that? All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. It should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. Add a bit of avocado on top, of course. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. We're trying to get the name of KP's Kingdom out there. Uh, you want to learn how to make something for summertime, quick and easy like this, you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button, you'll never miss another one of my videos again. Off to eat my beef taco salad, and I will catch you next time. Bye!